as of now you can see that we are using multiple router outlet in our application let's understand why we are using them in this application you can see that we are using the routing at three places first is this app routing file this one app routing module then we have a file inside this auth module that is the auth routing module and we also have one more file inside the user module that is the user routing module now let's open the corresponding component file as well so first in this app component we are using this structure and here we are having this router outlet okay inside this auth file we are also having this router outlet and inside this user file also we are having this router outlet so what is the meaning of having multiple router outlet in this application it means we are creating a hierarchy of the places where we can use all our components so because at the root level we are using this app routing module so by default whatever we have written inside this app component file that will be used for all the child routes as well and this is the reason that we are having this header and footer on all the components now let's talk about the auth file so here we are having this auth component file okay so at this place here i'm writing one more code let's say i'm writing h2 and in this code i'm writing auth header then here i'm writing auth footer so what we are doing over here first in the app component file we are having this main page inside this main page we have created this particular space for the child components now if we talk about the auth file then we are having again this template and inside this template again we are telling this application that all the child components will be placed at this place it means if this time we will run this application then you will see for this auth module we will have two headers first header will come from this app component and the second header will come from this auth component let's see how it is working so this application is running in this browser and this time let's use the auth sign up you can see this first header is coming from the app component then we are having this place from the auth header then the component then the auth footer and then the main footer similarly for the login page as of now you can see that this particular structure is common for all the auth module if instead of having this auth i am having the user module let's use this delete book this time you will see that the auth header and the auth footer is gone why because that was specific to the auth module only and if you want to define anything for the user module then you have to define your layout in the user component now what is the conclusion it means if you are having only one header and footer in your application throughout all the pages then you can use that in the app component over here because this is common for all the pages but if you are using multiple layouts in your application and instead of having this common part you want to define the layout specific to the module then in that scenario just remove everything from this place and let's use only the router outlet save the changes and just define your template in the corresponding component file so it means for the auth in this auth component and for the user in this user component like this so if you will notice that we do not have any layout over here we are simply having the router outlet so there should not be any extra code in this user module and that is what is happening over here in the user we do not have any header and footer but if you will talk about the auth we have the auth header and the auth footer so this is how it will work and this was the main purpose of having multiple router outlet in the application